give the same uh, results. There are totally in our entire world population, there are only two types of healthcare. One is a biomedical healthcare, where we go to a doctor, each organ is a different doctor. Ophthalmologist, GMP, gynecologist, or all the new neurologist, new business, physiotherapist, exercise therapist. So each category we have different doctors. That is a biomedical system of healthcare. Second healthcare system is less acknowledged, less, less accepted is bio, psycho, socio, spiritual healthcare model. See that? Bio, living, psyche, mind, socio, your family and social environment. This is also an environment where it is an extended family for you. You spend more than your family time in the work time. Maybe 10 to 12 hours, including the traffic, including the commute time. This one. So I was saying, bio, psycho, mind, social, social environment, spiritual, healthcare. It has an impact that this, your mind, your family, your community, your social well-being have an impact on the healthcare. Healthcare with this. In what model we uh, project it out is only combination of these two. That's what the matter was mentioning evidence-based uh, integrative medicine is this combination of biomedical, biopsychosocial, spiritual and care model. <coughs> By default, usually we go to a doctor, only physical body will be evaluated, is it not? So in this model, you don't need a super specialist or a specialist all the way. If I go to a stomach specialist, he says, okay, for example, I'll give an example. I'm, lo I'm having a lot of stress, I'm having acidity. We go to a gastroenterologist because he is especially or she, she is a specialist in that. So all the endoscopy, everything, complete blood count, everything is done. You say that I am having stomach issues at the same time I am having headache. So gastroenterologist will say straight away say, okay, my focus is gastroenterology. And thank you, meet a neurologist. Do you get this kind of experience? Yes. Because super speciality is increasing. Doctors do not have time to focus on each patient. For example, barbarate setup. You already understand what is the pressure of a barbarate setup. Not like this. It's very comfortable with corporate setup. There's a employer, understand the employee is better. So there is a mutual so and so on. Unlike other corporates where there's a huge pressure on the employee to work productivity. So employer only focus on productivity, not on exactly health. So this gastroenterologist will send the patient to a neurologist. Neurologist will say, okay, so it is maybe tension type of headache, most common type of headache. How many of you have headache? If you raise your hand this time, I'll give you some techniques. How <laughs> <laughs> many of you? Headache, most common type of headache is TTH, tension type of headache. Second one is a migraine. So there is a missing gray area where we need somebody at one point to evaluate our physical, emotional, mental, and social well-being. Will it happen? Usually in a setup of a hospital. Usually it will not happen because it is a sick care system. What each hospital will call themselves as a health care module, health care system. They advertise big, big things. So okay, heart block will be cleared in our hospital. You come to us, the knee will be replaced, you come to us. This is all a sick care system. Nobody will tell you how to prevent the these diseases. This is my personal experience. 36 major hospitals of Bangalore. I traveled from uh, 2007 to 2008. 36 hospitals with a proposal of integrative medicine. So this is the idea. Combination of biomedical system, combination of biopsychosocial spiritual environment, where you evaluate your psychology, your nutrition, your physical body by a medical plan, medical doctor. Giving maybe around 60 minutes time for each. So each specialist will not be able to give you time, maybe for example 30 patients, he has to decide at the back of his mind, okay, one patient I need to give, 5 to 10 minutes. So clinical medicine is dying and lab-based medicine is growing. Now what happened? Something happened, don't okay. get this blood test, go. Is it not? How much time you spend with a doctor? Less, less, less than 5 minutes. So there is a more encouragement for family based medicine, mind body medicine, integrative medicine, traditional family doctors concept is regrowing because doctor is not giving you time. So what doctor does? Okay, go to physiotherapist, get the exercise done, go to the nutritionist, get your health evaluated and do it. So there is a missing link 
nutritionist will understand nutrition. If I am stressed up, I will not be able to eat well. My digestive system will slow down. Correct? So for this, we will have some form with it. This is a small module, what we have done. So rather than talking, I want you to experience, then we will get to know what it is. So did you kill all the uh, particular hats uh, stored? <coughs> So based on the statistics, again one more statistic was 70 percent of your visits, first time when you go to a doctor, 70 percent of the time diseases are related to stress. National Institute of Health (NIH) USA is the statistics. In India, we are very poor in the record keeping, so our statistics is not very reliable and good. So NID statistics for India based on WHO standard is 68 percent. So 68 per, out of 100 diseases, 68 percent of diseases are related to mind body. So evaluation of mind body, I, I kept it as a priority. Why this question? I think that's the basic problem. So question contains 14 questions. In that 14 questions. So both are same. H A D S. Both are same. Only one questionnaire. One questionnaire contains 14 questions. 14 questions are arranged in a such a manner that it will represent your anxiety status or depression status. So only requirement is honest answer. If I use my mind very well to make the scoring, that's why I did not tell you score in the beginning. If I tell the score, you know, okay, let me put myself in a no anxiety state or no depression state. Oh, everything is zero. Normal. So I will not tell you the scoring unless you write it down and submit. So one question for example, I am tense or wound up, four options. Lot of the time, most of the time, from time to time, not at all. So whichever is nearest to your feeling, based on the past two weeks or one month of information, you can go. It will take hardly 10 minutes. Fill up these two questionnaires. Second one is very easy. First questionnaire, 10 minutes, 14 questions. Second questionnaire, 28 questions, 15 minutes, maximum. What we are going through, and we, if we uh, get what is your anxiety status and depression status, next will be what to do with that. So, coping skill. I teach you some scope, coping skills and we'll uh, close the session. And post one month or three months, we can re-evaluate and see the difference. If you are saying, you need to add more coping skills. If you are improving, then definitely it will productivity and your individual well-being will be different. You see the difference by yourself. Twelve to sixteen percent, sorry, twelve to twenty-one percentage of employees who are working 9 to 5 job will have sleep issues. So you individually don't need to tell me, but statistics are telling me that there are issues of sleep. Back pain is one of the most common somatization symptoms for all working people who are sitting in front of a system. Eye related issues, so these are very subtle. For example, how much is your blinking? Each day, 